In this tutorial, we're going to do a quick overview of Articulate QuizMaker 360 so that you get familiar with it and get a sense of what you can do. Now, the other tutorials will provide a lot more detail and allow you to dig deeper, and we've got some practice activities so that you can follow along. Now, one of the cool things about Articulate QuizMaker 360 is that you can publish it as a standalone file, as we see in this example, or you can publish it using Articulate Presenter and then publish it into a PowerPoint slide and make it part of a larger course. Regardless of whether you publish as a standalone file or publish it to a presenter course, the production process is basically the same, and you'll find that working with QuizMaker is really pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to click on New Quiz. And this is going to open up this window here, and we can see that we have a Questions tab. Now if we had some quiz questions, we'd actually see a list of them here in the tab. One of the things you'll notice is that the questions can also be placed in groups. So you can create question groups. So for example, if I was doing an assessment on uh, the human body, I might have like a digestive system group and have questions unique to the digestive system. And then I might have another group of like respiratory system questions and have those unique to the respiratory system. So once the questions are grouped, I have some options uh, working with those questions, which we'll look at here in a couple of minutes. So if you look at the top here, you'll notice that uh, you can insert things. So you can insert questions. Uh, you can insert a freeform question. You could insert a blank slide. A lot of people use blank slides to introduce topics, or they may branch away from a question and use a blank slide as a way to provide additional feedback. Uh, and you can import questions. Uh, when you're done with the quiz, you're always going to have a results slide. So you can edit the results slide here. So there'll be a pass fail result option. And then again, working with those question groups, you have some options here. So you can randomize the group. So the questions are always asked in a different order. Uh, so you can choose how many questions from a group to ask. So for example, you may have 100 questions in the group, but you really only want to choose 10. So you can do that. And then you can lock questions uh, as well. And then here you can modify your quiz properties. Uh, you can customize the player to meet your course's needs. And then here you can preview and then you can publish uh, your quiz questions. Now uh, down here you'll notice that you have some preview options. So we have a preview option with the desktop. So that will give you the desktop preview as if you are on a desktop or laptop computer. And then we have some mobile preview options. So we have tablet where we can do landscape or portrait. And then we have the same for phone with landscape and portrait. So that gives you a pretty good approximation of that. Each phone and tablet is a little bit different, but it gives you a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like. And then we have some setting controls here, which I'll show you in just a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and create a quiz question to see what we can do. We're going to insert a graded question. So let's click on graded question. And this is going to open up a box where we have some options. So I can insert a generic question type and then do some customizations on my own. Or I can insert one of these really nice looking templates that comes with Articulate 360. What's nice about the templates is that they're professionally designed so they look really great. Uh, so there's custom layouts and there's also customized feedback boxes. So what they'll do is save you a lot of time and um, because they're professionally designed, they'll actually look really nice as well. So uh, really helpful and will speed up things uh, for you. So we're going to go ahead and do a multiple choice quiz question. So we're going to insert that. And what that does is open up a form. Now when you're working with quiz questions, you have two types of views that you can work in. You have form view, which is what we see here. So you can add your question, your choices, your feedback. And then we have slide view. And slide view is going to give you something that's a little bit more like a PowerPoint or storyline slide. And that's where you can add content to the slide and you can move it around. So that's what we would call a free form authoring environment. So you're not stuck uh, with a certain type of layout. You can really create any type of layout that you want. So we're going to go to form view. What's nice about toggling between these is you can quickly add your content in form view and then you can go to slide view and move it around and make it look the way you want it to look. So we're going to add a simple quiz question. So what color is the sky? And then let's go ahead and add our choices. So we're going to say blue, red, green. I'm going to choose my correct choice. And then I have some feedback options here. Now I can uh, go with the default feedback or I can click on more. 
When I do that, I can add some text in here. I can record audio. And then I can choose how I want to branch the slide. So if they make a decision, they can go to the next question. Or I can branch them out to a different question. So it gives me a lot of flexibility in how I want to respond in the quiz. So we're going to keep everything by default. Uh, what you notice up here is uh, on feedback, you can provide feedback by the choice, which we have here. Or you can provide feedback based on the question. So if I choose blue, I can give you feedback unique to blue. If I choose red, I can give you feedback unique to red. And I can do the same thing with the scoring. So I can score by the question or I can score by the choice over here and assign different point values. Uh, down here I can shuffle the answers so it's not always going to be blue, red, green. It might be red, green, blue, blue, green, red. Uh, so it will always be shuffled. And then I can determine how many attempts I want the user to have for that quiz question. Over here I can insert some media. So I can insert uh, pictures or video or flash files. And here I can insert, insert some audio. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture. So I'm going to insert a picture from file. And I'll just choose this clouds picture. And now I can see in the form it's showing me that there's a cloud picture. And then I actually have a preview down here so I can see what the initial quiz question looks like. So I've got my title, my choices, and the picture I inserted. And that looks kind of bland, right? It's fine if I want to get something out the door really fast. I can come to slide view. I can customize the way things look. So this is a free form environment. So I can click. I can scale, right? I can move things around. Uh, I can move the quiz questions around. I just have to drag those and move them wherever I want to. So I can make the quiz layout any way I want to. Uh, you'll notice that I can insert content just like I would if I was in PowerPoint or Storyline. So let's say I want to insert a picture. I can insert shapes. I've got these really great characters that come with Articulate 360. So you can see that we have, uh, let's see, we have photographic characters here. Uh, we have these realistic illustrated characters. Uh, I have these cartoon characters. Uh, so you have a, a number of choices. Uh, I'm going to go with the re realistic character here. You can see you've got some filtering options as well. Now you'll notice when you insert the characters uh, that you have the option to download. So the ones that have the little blue icons there, um, that means they're not on my system yet. The ones that don't, those are ones I've already downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and insert Amber. And again, it's a free form environment so I can move things around. Uh, you'll notice with the characters that you have some options here. So you can change the expressions, right? So I'm going to make her look like she's thinking. And um, I'm going to crop her as well. So she's uh, studying for her medical uh, exam. So we're going to ask her what color the sky is. So she's thinking about that. So you can see you've got a lot of room to uh, do what you want in terms of layout. You can go to the design. You've got backgrounds. You've got color schemes, font pairs that you can choose. Uh, you can do transitions and animations. The way animations work, you've got a timeline down here. And you can determine when things come on and off of the timeline. So you can choose entrance and exit animations. And the other tutorials will describe a lot of that in a lot more detail. Uh, but it's a really quick overview. Uh, and then uh, when you're looking at your quiz question, you'll also notice that you have uh, incorrect and correct uh, feedback boxes. And so you can uh, customize those. If you want to change the way they look, you can go into View. And then you have a Slide Master and you have a Feedback Master. So when you're in the Feedback Master, uh, you have access to these things. And you can change the size and shape and where they're laid out. So a lot of, a lot of flexibility there as well. And once you're done, you can preview this. So let's go ahead and preview the slide. What you have here is your default player and you can see the quiz looks the way we designed it. So we're right now we're in the desktop playback mode. And so this is what the player looks like in that. But let's say I want to see what it looks like if I'm on a tablet. So I'm going to click Tablet Landscape Mode. Now you can see that the players changed to the response of mobile player. So I'm going to get a better user experience when I'm on the mobile device. And then I can see what it looks like on my phone as well. And then I can look at my phone in portrait mode. Now one thing I'll notice is that you know portrait mode is really not ideal. And I don't want the user to see this in portrait mode. I only want them to see it in landscape mode. And this is where these uh, settings really come in handy. So let's close the preview. I'm going to come over here to the settings and I can modify the responsive playback. So let's say on a phone, because I know it's not going to look the way I want it to look, I'm going to say on a phone you can only view it 
in landscape mode. And we'll say the same thing in a tablet. So you can only view these quiz questions on your tablets and phones in landscape mode. We're going to hit OK. What happens if I'm looking at it in portrait? I'm going to get this message here that says rotate your device. So now they're going to rotate the device and this is what it's going to look like. So it's going to be a much better experience for them. You have, you have a little bit more control over what it looks like on the device. And again, these are facsimiles, so it's not exactly the same uh, layouts on every single phone or every single tablet because some of them have different aspect ratios. But you do get a pretty good sense of what they'll look like. And you do get this nice responsive mobile player. So it gives you a lot of flexibility when you're working uh, with your mobile delivery. Let's say you're almost done. We're going to customize the player. So you come up to Player and you can see you've got some options to customize. And again, we won't go through the details, but you can see most of it makes sense when you're reading through it. Uh, you've got different features you can add, uh, color scheming, text labels, and then how it displays in the browser. You get a, pr a live preview to see what it looks like. When you're done and you're happy with everything, go ahead and hit Publish. And you're going to see that you have a number of publish options. So you can publish to Articulate Presenter. So if you have a presenter file and you're working in PowerPoint, you can publish to that slide. Uh, you can publish to Articulate 360 and that will upload it to review. You can share the file or you can have it reviewed and get some feedback uh, from people. And then you can publish for the web where you'll get a published output. You can upload that to a server. You can publish to Articulate Online. You can also publish to your learning management system. What you need to do is just choose uh, the different type of LMS option, output options, and then the reporting and tracking uh, that you require. And then you need to upload your published output to your LMS. One of the things you'll notice when you're publishing is you have these published properties. So by default, you're going to get HTML5 with flash fallback. What that means is uh, if you're viewing the course, it's going to start in HTML5, but if you have an older browser that doesn't support that, it'll fall back to Flash, so it'll run it in the Flash player. So by default, it's going to play in HTML5, but if there's an incompatible browser, it's going to try to load it in Flash. If you click on this, you have some options. So you can do HTML5 only, and so you won't have any Flash. You can do HTML5 Flash, or you can do Flash as your primary, and HTML5 as your secondary or you can do just Flash. And then again, you have your Articulate Mobile Player publishing options as well. Let's go ahead and add one more quiz question and look at some of the options we have to customize. So I'm going to cancel this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Questions tab. So I'm going to insert a graded question. And we're going to use one of these templates that come with Articulate 360. So I'm going to insert that. And these templates are great because all I have to do is add my content. And you can see they've got a really nice look to them. If I go to Slide View, you can see I've got customized feedback. So really nice, professional, elegant look to these templates. One of the challenges you may have is uh, branding requirements or having to use color schemes that are unique to your organization. You can quickly go to the Design tab and you can create your own color themes and then uh, customize them to meet your needs. I'm just going to add a new one. You can see what that does. So you can see it changed the colors here and here. So you can use these templates, customize them. Uh, they're really going to speed up your time. And then when you're done with everything, you publish it and make your course available to your user. And, and that's basically it. So you can quickly create your questions in form view, and then you can create custom look and feel in slide view, and then you publish them. So go ahead and watch the other tutorials to learn more details about how to work with Quizmaker. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump in the community and ask. We're always there to help you.